Hey guys, Adam with Swell Wake Surf. Today, we're gonna to cover prop basics and what to look for in choosing a new prop for your boat. This is one of the most confusing things to understand, at least it was for me when I started doing this, but can have the most impact on your boating experience. There are five key properties for inboard boat propellers to understand that we're gonna talk about today. The first one being diameter, how big the prop is. In this case, we're gonna measure from the tip to the tip on a four blade propeller, that will give us the diameter. This one is a 16 inch propeller. For wake surfing, we want the largest diameter we can get. The larger diameter will give you more surface area and will be easier to transfer the power from the prop to the water. The next thing to talk about is pitch. An easy to way to explain this is how far in one rotation the propeller will travel through the water with no slip. The lower the pitch, the more torque. So a 16 pitch propeller is gonna travel 16 inches forward in the water in ideal conditions. Next thing to talk about is cup. The cup is a curl added to the trailing edge, so in this case it would be right here of the prop. We don't see much cup on inboard rope props. This one's in the thousandths of an inch, but you might notice it on your pontoon or your fishing boat or on like outboards and stuff like that. The material of these props is made of a product called Nibril, and Nibril is an alloy made of nickel, bronze, and aluminum. And this is ideal for the manufacturing process, which is all done by CNC these days. The material is also made to be the sacrificial part of the drivetrain. So if you hit a rock or a log out in the lake, it's gonna damage the propeller and it's not gonna damage the shaft or the gears in the transmission. You can swap out the propeller and keep moving. These props when damaged can typically be repaired at Acme or your local prop repair shop for a few hundred bucks. We always have a spare prop in our boat along with a weekend saver kit. We've had some bad days on holiday weekends and an extra prop ensures that you don't ruin vacations. The last two properties of a prop are the least variable, but also very important. And that's hub size and type, as well as the rotation. And this is more of just a fitment thing. The hub size can vary boat to boat. Hubs can either be tapered, which is mostly common, or spline, spline looks like a little gear. Spline props are mostly exclusive to Mastercraft boats. Tapered is by far and away the most common. And basically you tighten your nut and as the prop moves, it tightens up on the shaft and you use a prop puller to get it off. Rotation is the last thing to verify. On this prop right here, it's a 16 inch propeller and we have the leading edge right here and the trailing edge right here. So this prop's gonna rotate counterclockwise. It's a left rotation propeller. You want, when you're looking at it, if it's not on the boat, you wanna make sure that the the numbers are stamped for the prop specs on the front and Acme puts their phone number on the back side. So the spec numbers are on the front side. One common question we get is, will upgrading your prop improve your wave? And the answer overall is no. The propeller will not change the shape or size of a wake surf wave. However, it can have a huge impact on how well your boat holds speed and can make it much easier to get a great wave. For example, in our 2006 Malibu 247 build, if you haven't watched it, go check it out on our channel. The OEM prop on that boat did not do well with the added weight, and the boat would fluctuate speed up to two miles an hour sometimes, all over the place. Once we upgraded the prop, the boat held speed almost perfectly within like a tenth of a mile an hour. A huge improvement. If you're looking to upgrade or replace your propeller, our upgrade tool makes it a complete painless process. All you have to do is just put your year, make, and model of your boat along with the engine you have, and then select how you plan to use your boat. For our boat builds, we typically use the heavily weighted option on our website as we typically are adding over 2,000 pounds of ballast over the stock ballast. But if you're just looking to replace the boat you or the prop you have on your boat, just go ahead and select, you know, wakeboard and it'll give you the perfect prop for you. If we taught you anything today, please hit the like and subscribe button, follow along for our next video. And if you have any questions about any of this or you're not sure what to get, give us a call or text at 651-400-2389 anytime or you can email our pop, prop experts at props at swellwake.com. Thanks for watching.